Hey, what's up guys? Mike here. Um, today I wanted to talk about these uh, tantalum capacitors. Um, these are the black ones. So these two right here are the most popular ones that you'll find. Uh, the plus sign, like on that top one. Let me get something to point at. <laughs> Let me get some, something to point at him with. Alright, so like this one here. Ah, uh, it's getting stuck. This one here is a very popular one, and we all know this is a, uh, a tantalum capacitor because it has that sign there, that circle, and then the polarity, and then I guess the specifications are in the numbers. And so this one as well, you see it has a plus sign for the uh, polarity side, so these are the two most popular ones. Uh, there's some other types of uh, uh, tantalum capacitors that are not so popular I guess like this one here it has a 10 and then 16 volts. This one here is a, a tantalum. Let's see if I can grab this one. Uh, see this one is kind of the same this one's 22 and uh, I can't see you know, 10 volt Let's see that I've been doing some research on these black capacitors so I've also found that these uh, let's see if I could put them in order see without sticking they're so tiny alright C A oh no wait I got it backwards it should be J ah I can't grab it J A I'm all way off camera. Boy, I don't know if you can see that, but I have to move the camera a little bit. See, it says J, and then a number, then A in the number, and then C in a number. So, let me look at my data sheet here. So, what I found is that the J on the first one is the 6.3 volt the A is 10 volt and the C is 16 volt and there's also a G, a D, an E, and a V and then uh, they'll have the corresponding numbers for the capacitance so those are also tantalum capacitors guys alright I'll put that over there alright now here is uh, what I call a neb and that one let me look at my little handy dandy sheet here this one's a neo capacitor and the R stand or the B stands for the the month that it was made so this one would be made in February and then the bottom numbers are just the marking codes for the DC rated voltage so keep an eye out for these two alright let's see what is this one oh well, that's just another J I'll put a link to this uh, spreadsheet that I've been using it's really really handy guys so um, it'll make it, your job easier when you're trying to determine if if it's a tantalum capacitor or a diode or a what is it called inductor because sometimes they look the same I uh, also found uh, let's see we'll grab these yellow ones first these yellow ones here they look like little bullets we all know these are tantalum as well 
I'm just using these as an example so I can show you the black ones. Okay, here's one, a yellow one, a small one. We'll get off. All right, so here's here's a black black one. As you can see that without it sticking. I'm trying to show you the positive sign. All right, let's see. And these were I had to look them up on a different spreadsheet, so. But these are also uh, tantalum capacitors, and they come in different sizes as well. So here's here's a smaller one. And you probably can't see the writing on there because it has it has all this uh, like glue stuff on there. But anyways, these are also tantalum. And then this one, I almost passed up because I thought it was a diode. But if you look closely, see it has the positive sign. And then the, the lettering says, uh, what's 82 or 87, 17. And if you compare it with the other one that you know is a tantalum, it's the same marking. See that? I'm trying to focus without that glare. 87, 17 positive. So this is basically the same capacitor, just different shape. And finally, we have this cylindrical uh, casing here so this is the only uh, tantalum capacitor that I found uh, in the cylinder shape or type and you can tell that it's a tantalum capacitor if you would just look up the number here and then I'll show you the percentage and then uh, trying to focus and then pause positive sign there with the band around it sometimes they have like a engraved well I don't know how to explain it but it it will have like an engraved like little rivet or no not a rivet like a dip in the, in the tube going all the way around signifying the positive side so this one here was a good find I guess I've never really found any like these but I knew they were out there but I just never seen one until I found one so these were made by Spragu or Scragu I can't read that Sprag Spragu I guess so if you just look them up you can find these uh, tantalum capacitors on there and then I guess this little dip or I don't want to call it a nipple this uh, we'll just call it a nipple this nipple here also lets you know that that's the positive side so you just google it you'll find them and you find the exact same looking capacitor on there so yeah guys uh, here, let's put them all in there so you can see them you're probably not going to be able to see all of them, but just just enough. All right. So yeah, guys, keep your eyes out for these here. Can't even zoom in. I guess I'll just go like this. So you'll keep your eyes out for these types of uh, casings for the tantalum capacitors and don't pass them up guys. You can easily con confuse them with diodes or the uh, inductors, especially these black cylinder ones. So that's about it guys. Thanks for watching and I will see you guys on the next video.